Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my top five denim brands or pairs of denim. Jeans are definitely a staple in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time. I like kind of a vintagey feel. I'm not really into skinny jeans right now, although I do like a slim leg and I'm very into high-waisted. I think they're really flattering and I like to wear them with like a crop t-shirt or tuck them in to like a blouse or something. So yeah, I just wanted to take you guys through my favorite pairs of jeans. Number one, these are my current favorites. These are from A Gold. These are the Jamie jeans. And I cut off the bottom just because I tend to do that, but I just like the unfinished hem. But my advice would be to get a tailor or if you have a sewing machine, just to put a little seam. I'm not even sure if you can see this. So just put a little seam right along there so that it frays, but it doesn't fray too much. I got these recently. I have never worn A Gold before, but I love them. They are very comfortable and I think they're really flattering and I really like the wash. They're kind of like medium with a little bit of distressing, but I find that they go with a lot of things. I'm not really into the super dark wash anyway. Okay, these are Citizens of Humanity, the Dree Crop. They are incredibly comfortable. They're high-waisted, kind of vintage inspired, but they still have a little bit of stretch in them. And they're obviously a cropped length. I actually think I might even cut the hem off just to make them a bit more, I don't know, I've been doing that a lot with my jeans, but Citizens of Humanity is one of my absolute favorite jean brands. They are pricey, I am fully aware, um, but their denim is so well fitting. The quality is so good and they last a really, really long time. So I would definitely say if you're looking to invest, Citizens of Humanity is one of the best. A trick that I actually do just because my, my natural waist is a little bit smaller. I don't really need to do it for these, but I'll get a tailor to put darts in right here and right here. And it just kind of brings it in a little bit around my natural waist and makes it look a little bit smaller. It's hard to find jeans that fit here and here. I normally have like jeans that fit my legs and butt and they're just a little bit too big here or they're too small here and they fit here. I don't really play favorites in terms of jean brands, but if I had to choose, I would maybe say that Citizens is my favorite brand. Oh, there's the dog bowl. And there's the little angel. There he is, my sleepy boy. All right, this is pair number three. These are also Citizens of Humanity. This is called the Leah Style. I actually have two pairs of these, one in black and one in blue. These are like the distressed, you can see at the bottom that they have, I don't know, distressing there. <laughs> Anyways, these are just the most comfortable jeans I think I've ever ever owned. I like these black ones because they're a little bit different. I have worn my blue ones like for at least five years and I still love them and they're so comfortable. The fabric is really like worn and soft and so they almost feel like you're wearing sweatpants almost. These are just super comfy, very vintage looking, but they still have a little bit of stretch. Um, I actually got these in New York when I was there last year, but I will find them for you guys. I'm sure they're available online. Also, just in case anyone's wondering, this is a redone t-shirt. Um, I got mine on Shopbop. You can get them on the redone website as well. Mm -hmm. This is the other color that I have in the Citizens of Humanity Leahs. These I've had for a really long time. You can see they're very worn. They're just so incredibly comfortable. And I do want to note that I would size down in the Citizen Leah style. Um, they don't really have any stretch in them. And because the fabric is so like well-worn and soft, they can stretch out quite a bit. So when you buy a pair, make sure they're quite snug because they will stretch out. Number four, these are girlfriend denim. These are the Helena style. 
They've got like a little bit of an uneven hem at the bottom. I just find them so comfortable and so flattering. I get compliments almost every time I wear these. I love wearing them with boots just because they're a little bit of a boot cut and they go over like tighter boots really well. So I wear these in the winter all the time, especially with my like Stuart Weitzman stretchy booties that fit underneath. I did not do my hair very well today. These have a little bit of stretch in them, but they still have the kind of vintage feel, which obviously I really like. I'm very not into skinny jeans right now, even though I'm sure I will in the, in the future. Number five. These are the Levi 501 skinny jeans. They have no stretch, which can make them a little bit uncomfortable sometimes but I love these jeans. The 501s are just such classic jeans. I have these in black as well. I have gotten both of my Levi's from Aritzia. They're like $100. They have a really good kind of curated selection. That's where I would go. These I cut off at the bottom. And again, I had it taken in right here just so that it fit me a little bit better. I didn't think that I would like the light color but I really do. It's kind of like a classic worn Levi's kind of look. Okay, you guys, I hope that that was helpful. I would love to hear your favorite brands of denim so that I can try them out. I feel like I'm on an eternal quest for the perfect pair of denim. Even when I found them, I'm always looking for more. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and you liked this video. I have so many more hauls coming up. That's something that I'm really focusing on because it seems like you guys really like watching them. If you have any specific requests, you can leave that in the comments below as well. Right now I have like my favorite dresses and dress brands coming up. I've got designer handbags, my jewelry collection, my makeup brush collection. Those are all on my to-do list. So those will be coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.